The Books Nova Air is a $350 e-ink tablet that runs Android. Man, just how flexible this OS is. And offers way more than a Kindle ever can. I can play Spotify on this, while reading a book. I can even tweet, and play some basic games, but that's a constant reminder of the limitations of an e-ink display. If you're looking for a versatile e-reader, there's a lot to like here. But you'll have to be sure of what you're getting into, because there's a learning curve. In the meantime, the e-reader world has moved forward in leaps and bounds, with new contenders and technologies that try to redefine what the device class can offer. Onyx is one of those new players rising to the top, and the new Spooks Nova Air C is its most ambitious product yet. If you're expecting some appearance innovation to come from these newer e-reader makers, you might be severely disappointed. Although digital book readers are slowly but surely encroaching into tablet territory, they still have completely different goals and, therefore, very different priorities. That alone makes this device's appearance stand out, as it uses metal instead of plastic. The new Books Nova retains the same drab appearance and thin profile as most e-readers, but the material is reassuring for its durability and longevity. It won't look or feel as premium as the metal or glass on some tablets these days, but that's not really a priority for an e-reader. The edges of the Books Nova Air C are just as plain as its body, except for the button on the top side, as well as the USB-C port and speaker grille on the bottom. Yes, it is built-in speakers, which are barely decent for the job. You'll probably want to use your favorite Bluetooth earphones or headphones instead, as the super thin slate has no room for a 3.5mm headphone jack. To be clear, even the latest Dean Kaleida Plus technology will be no match for an LCD screen, much less an OLED, but that's not really a shocker. The ink uses a color filter in order to reflect different colors of light, unlike LCD and OLEDs that actually emit colored light. What this means in practice is that colors won't be as bright and vibrant as you'd expect, but considering this is an e-ink screen, the 4096 colors it can support is already astounding. The 7.8-inch e-ink screen has a 1404 by 1872 resolution when displaying black tones. That makes text, and even images quite sharp, which is perfect for comfortable reading. The numbers drop sharply when the color filter is used, however, down to 468 by 624. The drop in resolution isn't that noticeable unless you're very particular about seeing dots. In practice, it still makes colors very noticeable, so you can finally enjoy your magazines, comics, and colored manga on the same comfortable reading device. The paper displays don't emit their own light, and rely on front lights, rather than backlights to allow for reading in the dark. The Books Nova Air C takes this a step farther by including not only white LED light, but a warm amber light, as well. The latter is more comfortable when reading at night, and you can mix the ratio of white and warm lights to your satisfaction. When both lights are used, the Books Nova Air C looks brighter than most e-readers that only have one color of light. The readers are wading into tablet territory in both hardware and software. For example, the Books Nova Air C runs on a Snapdragon 662 with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of expandable storage. That's more than enough for simply reading books, just like a Kindle, but it opens the door to more use cases, including running normal Android apps. The e-reader comes with Wi-Fi for downloading apps and e-books, but unsurprisingly, no cellular support. The USB-C port is used for both charging the device and transferring files from the computer. The 2000 mAh battery might sound small compared to tablets these days, but e-ink displays sip power, rather than gulp it down, so battery life is never an issue. Many e-book readers today offer more than just reading capabilities. Some have even started running Android, taking them into tablet territory. Onyx is included in that bunch, but also does one better. The Books Nova Air C runs Android 11 out of the box, which is actually impressive given e-reader standards. Onyx has its own software and ebook library, but you will be able to install Google Play apps and services during the setup phase. That means you'll have access to all the content you can grab, from local files to Kindle, Kobo, and more. Of course, you also have access to Android apps not related to reading, like games. Your mileage may vary, but the option is at least available. The Onyx Books Nova Air C shows how far e-readers have come, even and especially without Amazon holding them back. These devices, which can go up to 13.3 inches in size, no longer limit themselves to just reading, while still retaining the qualities that make them special. Lightweight, long-lasting, and easy on the eyes, the Books Nova Air C brings the best of e-readers and adds a splash of color, too. There is, of course, the issue of price, and this is where the Kindle still has a huge lead. The Onyx Books Nova Air C currently retails for $420, which is near the price of a mid-range Android tablet. It might be able to do less than a tablet, but it can definitely do a lot more than some competing models as well. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate every comment from you. Subscribe to the channel. See you soon.